The first of a new fleet of military aircraft has arrived at the California Air National Guard base in Fresno. Action News reporter Linda Muma was there as the first F-15 Eagle landed on the runway and shows us what its arrival means for the 144th Fighter Wing and the local economy. A big day for the 144th Fighter Wing and the city of Fresno as the first of 21 F-15 fighter jets touch down on the tarmac for the first time. What you see here is the right equipment in the right place with the right people to defend the United States. Mayor Ashley Swearingen and other leaders were on hand to welcome the new aircraft to the Fresno Yosemite International Airport. It means so much to our community. We know, for example, 500 full-time employees is what this mission represents to the city of Fresno. Almost 580 part-time reservists. Over the next few months, the Air National Guard will ramp up the number of F-15s and will eventually replace its predecessor, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, with with the new aircraft arriving from Montana. It's very exciting. We've been waiting for a few years for this aircraft. We've been talking about bringing the F-15 on now. Uh, three to four years that I'm aware of, so it's very nice to see it finally come to fruition. This right here is why the 144th Fighter Wing says the F-15 is a better suited aircraft to carry out its mission of air defense. Not one, but two engines. It's a safer aircraft from that aspect. If, if one of the engines go down, the pilot can still fly home on the other engine. It's also bigger and faster and can outperform any current enemy aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. The F-15 is an extremely uh, powerful aircraft at altitude uh, and uh, carries more weapons, has more powerful radar. So for our mission here in California, uh, it's definitely an upgrade. But probably the biggest benefit of all is the longevity the aircraft will bring to the once threatened base. The Air Force has said that the F-15 is going to be the air defense platform for probably the next 30 years. Securing not only the United States, but the guard's future in Fresno. In Fresno, Linda Muma, ABC 30, Action News.